Hello, welcome to Tap the Gold Spiritual Counseling and Transformational Coaching Services. I'm your host, Dr. Jacinta Mali Ghana. In this session today, I'm going to take, take you through a super quick session counseling you to let go of stress, to resolve stress. If you're stressed right now, this is for you. Now, before I get jump into the session, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you can receive these videos every time I upload them. Now, getting into stress, I'm sure you are aware of the dangers of stressing. It's one of the main factors, the main root causes of disease because stress weakens your immune system. That is a summary. That's just a summary of what stress can do to you. Now, the number one reason why we stress is self-doubt. You doubt yourself. You doubt your abilities. You doubt that whatever is that on your plate, you doubt that you can resolve it. You doubt that things won't change. And you have a lot of doubt in your destiny. And most importantly, Importantly, you doubt, you have this doubt because you don't know who you are. Because who you are cannot doubt. So literally, self-doubt means that you're playing it small. You are, you think you are what you're not. And I'll repeat, you think you're your image. Because doubting is done by your mind. Doubting is a habit of the image, of the person. But who you are is not a person. You're not your personhood, you're not your image, you're not your behaviors, you're not your thoughts, you're not your beliefs. You are the unknown of the known, of your knowns. You're the witness of your experiences. You're the one who knows what goes on in your world. You are the knower, you're not even the one, because the one, that means that there is another element, there is another identity. You're not your identity. You're that knowing, you're the awareness. That's why when the, you can never see yourself, you can never touch yourself, you can never find yourself because you are the one who sees, touches, finds other things. Just as the skin can feel itself and eyes can see themselves and teeth can chew themselves, that's why you can never see yourself. When you remember that you are the witness, the awareness, the knowingness of your experiences, then you also understand that stressing is a habit in you. It's not you. I'll give you another example. Stressing is doing something, but it's an inner game. It's an inner expression. It's happening inside you and you're engaging all your senses, your cellular system, your <laughs> your neurological system, your brain. Sometimes you're even using your physical, your muscles to really do stress. You've, jumped, you've given your power of attention to the emotion called stress and you are accepting it as a truth, as a reality, and then you're engaging it. You're giving it what it wants. So you're engaging in this habit. So stressing is literally suffering your habit. You're suffering from your habit. It's a habit in you. It's something that you do and you're not what you do. So wouldn't you rather be who you are and not what you do? For instance, when you're eating, when you say I'm eating food, you're engaging in the, in the action of eating, but you can never say I'm the action of eating. I'm the action of eating. I am eating is not I'm the action of eating. So you can carry the same scenario to stressing. Just to say, oh my God, I'm so stressed. No, you are not stressed. You are suffering from your belief in your habit of stressing. And wherever, and, for, and also you cannot say that I am in stress. No, you cannot be in stress. I mean, what is the stress? It's an emotion. Can you really be in the emotion? You can't. Can, even if you thought you were your image, can you? Can your image, this image, really be inside that emotional stress? Can this image really be inside of that emotional stress? Let's imagine you really had the power to 
imagine it ties, you know, to bring to life that image, that, that emotion called stress. And you kind of like were able to create an image of it. And, uh, and <laughs> would you really be able to, to get yourself your image, your body and push it in that stress? No, you wouldn't. And this, of course, you had another power to expand <laughs> this stress, this image called stress, so that your body can can fit in it. And that's all delusion. <laughs> that, that those are creative illusions, which also conclude gets gets me to the conclusion that the the way you speak to yourself is going to define how you feel. That's why in the Bible they say that let the mix say that I am strong because what you add to I am, you literally become. You are I before am. You are the I before you are being. So when you say I am stressed, that means you are being stressed, but you are before the stress. And when you're doubting yourself, that means that you're, you're literally doubting the habit of stressing which is a good thing. This should pop you out of it. You should say, you know what? Why am I doubting myself? Then you ask the question, you know what? The self that I'm doubting, who am I? Am I the stressing habit? No. So then what am I, why am I doubting? Why do I have so much doubt? that I'll achieve my dreams. Then you realize this is really subtle, that you're not really self doubt you're not even worried about the future. You're not worried about manifesting your dreams. No, you are believing the habit of stressing to be the truth because there is absolutely no evidence. I really hope that I'm clear. So self-doubt in, a, in summary, is a reflection of your self-identity, of what you believed yourself to be. You think you're what you know, and you think you're what you feel. So you're doubting that. You're doubting that. Because that, you should doubt that anyway, because it's definite. And we live in an infinite universe, believe it or not. And your nature is infinity. So every time you try to play it small by being definite, defined by this body, your expectations and beliefs, guess what you're doing? It's like trying to fit the infinite into the finite. You're trying to reduce your infinite self into this little situation. And then a part of you, consciousness, is telling you, uh, 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 you're in the, your attention is in the wrong place. That's why you're stressing. Now this is deeper. But to go back to the basic counseling, just remember that you know your emotion. And if you have doubt about how the future is going to manifest, just know that the future it doesn't even exist because just there is no there just because because as you get there, it's no longer there, it's here. And as you get here, it's no longer here, it's yesterday. So literally you're the only constant. You're the only constant. So when you know who you are, then you realize, you know what? I am the one who sees everything. I am the one who feels everything. I am the one who does everything. But I can be without these things and these things cannot be without me. Excuse me. So I really hope this helps you to literally do not allow the egoistic mind to trick you and get you to play it small. And it can't even do it. But because you believe in your thoughts and you are acting who you're not, you believe in your uh, false self-identity. You've identified with your image, with your body, with your emotions, with your beliefs. And all these come with a cost. These are the foundations of self-doubt and stressing, the habits, you know, the stressing, the, the, the wiring, the doubting, the whatever else negative and even positive. This self-identity, false self-identity, uh, the ego, is the manufacture of the senses, the sense world. But you possess these senses, so you cannot be the senses. So take a deep breath right here with me. And just focus on that gift that you have and you are, which is life. 
remember what is important. Remember that you are the most important aspect of your world. Without you, nothing else in your world is. Focus on what is important, which is the God self within you. Now, I'm sending you abundant love from my heart to yours. And peace and blessings. Bye.